Now here's a good example of why it's so hard to find cool programs that you can take advantage of. See, <laughs> nothing is where it's supposed to be and it's not called by things you think it'd be called. And like, here's a new program. They just started it. It's called the Rural Micro uh, Entrepreneur Assistance Programs. So it's really for starting businesses or if you have a small business in rural areas, we're trying to grow that. And it's a fairly new program. It's only been around a couple of years. So people don't know about it, but it's $59 million in grants and loans every year. You know. So how do you know about it? Well, first of all, you have to know the words, right? So you know Rural Micro uh, Entrepreneur Assistance Program. I got to read it to remember it. And it's part of something else called the Rural Economic Development Loan and Grant Program, right? So now you're looking two places. See, the hardest thing in the government is you don't know what to ask for. This is why we're question mark suit. So if you don't ask for the right thing, the government doesn't know what the heck you're looking about. So that's why you got to get the data, the stuff that they have uh, and show them what they have. Because <laughs> it's too complicated for any one person to know. There's three of us in the house here and I don't even know what the other two people are doing most of the time. So somebody running an agency of 5,000 people, you know, you can't make a phone call and expect to know about it. But this money, okay, this is here who it's for. Individual citizens or, in, or individuals who have been here legally admitted to the United States. So you don't have to be a citizen, you just have to be here legal. And you're located in an area of the country of less than 50,000 people, okay? So you're a micro entrepreneur, that's a small business of not more than 10 people, because it would just be you. <laughs> and you don't need more than $50,000, right? So you can't be asking for a lot of money. So they have uh, money up to $50,000 for businesses or sole proprietorships, just you trying to hustle, trying to do something, you know, and you don't have more than 10 employees, so it doesn't matter. Okay, what can you use the money for? Okay, for working capital. That means anything, just to stay alive in business. Purchase furniture and equipment, supplies, inventory and equipment. Debt financing, that's right. So you could use their money to help you get out of debt or to buy a business. You wanna buy a business. So financing a business. So you wanna buy a franchise or somebody else's business, something like that. Or even purchase real estate, okay? Or just prepare yourself to be self-employed. You wanna take courses and things like that. Uh, so it's really just to improve the small business community in rural areas. Oh, something's traveling here. I didn't want to do it. Uh, okay. And also what it does, or they're trying to do is prepare people to uh, live independently in rural areas. So in other words, if they give you 50 grand to get started, and then you'll know how to be self-sufficient. So this is what all this money is about. But the trick to this money is, it doesn't go to individuals. It's giving them to groups. And what they do, they give it to about 80 organizations all around the country. <laughs> now here's a list, they have a list on the site. Uh, they all these organizations that are getting this money and then they give it to the individuals. So you can't even go to a government office to get it. You gotta find out who the government office gave it to in your area and then you ask them and look at the kinds of people because you never even think look, the southern alabama electric cooperative right so this is like the public utility in alabama you know columbia city municipal electric utility in indiana you know these are the kinds of people that get this money who in turn give it to individuals you know four county electric membership corporation you know, these are all just trying to help economic development because see the power company probably get this money, you know, for free from the government. So they give it to potential customers. So you start businesses, so they sell them electricity, you know. And, and uh, here's another nonprofit organization, besides like Food Kitchen Ventures. Actually, they're a for-profit organization, but they're trying to start small businesses. They, they're a service that, you know, if you have a food idea, they have kitchens and all this kind of stuff to get you. So what they're doing now is getting government money to hand it to you so you could buy their services <laughs> to help start a business. <clears throat> Crazy. Uh, things like oh, green spaces for life 
in California. They got this money to give out to individuals. Valley Small Business Development Corporation, Kentucky Highlands Investment Corporation. Maybe these are fat guys looking for business to invest in. They get money from the government <laughs> and then in turn give it to individuals to start businesses. Oh, here's another one. East Missouri Action Agency, right? So these are nonprofit organizations again, trying to stimulate business and economic development where they live. Nebraska Enterprise, Enterprise Fund, Center for Rural Affairs. That's in Nebraska also. Uh, Grow South Dakota. Uh, Wisconsin Women's Business Initiative Corporation. Yeah. So they're getting this money. They found out about it. But look at the individual. Here's some individuals I looked up who got this money. Valley, uh, I'm just, Valley Fire Pot Pottery and Espresso. You know, this is a little company out in uh, business out in Nebraska, a coffee shop and uh, uh, pottery gallery that got up to $50,000 for their business. Or here's an interesting one. It's a Flavor 8 Soda Pop. They're making soda in Wisconsin. Actually, they were turned down by 29 lenders and they finally got money from them and I just, I just checked on them too and, and they went out of business. So that's why, see, they probably didn't have such a good idea. But see, this is what this kind of money is for, people who can't get it uh, elsewhere. Uh, also, here's an interesting business out in Wisconsin. Um, it's called River West Motor Works and Pet Grooming. So you fix your car and get your dog washed too. <laughs> I guess they'll wash your car too. <laughs> but these are the businesses. I mean, it's a cute idea, isn't it? So you, you bring your car in and throw your pet in the back seat and they could get uh, manicured and washed. Or Ultimate Kitchen and Bath in South Dakota. So it, it's money that God, you don't even know what to ask for. You know what it is. It's going to the intermediary, which in th then goes to you, but they're getting government money to give to you. So the government doesn't have to, uh, you know, do, <laughs> do the dirty work <laughs> kind of thing. So how do you find out about it? Well, it's part of the Department of Agriculture. And so you contact your local Department of Agriculture, uh, Rural Development. So you're looking for the Office of Rural, R-U-R-A-L, Development. And if you can't find that somewhere or online, so say looking for U.S. Department of Agriculture, Rural Development, you know, in, you know, Colorado or wherever the heck you are, Pennsylvania. And if you can't find it, just call 211. They'll help you. That's an 800 hotline anywhere that knows about government agencies and programs, and they're very good at that. So you just say, hey, I'm looking for the Rural Development Office for my state. That's why, because you're looking for money. You want to start a business. Got less than 10 employees, and you don't need more than $50,000. Remember that. 